afternoon. Welcome to the You Are Home live tour of the Maple Hill neighborhood. Um, my name is Courtney. I'm a junior here at the University of Arkansas and I'm from Fayetteville so feel free to ask me any questions about the campus or the city or whatever you can think of. Um, behind the camera today is Channing. I'll let her introduce herself. Hi guys, my name is Channing. I am a senior communication major on campus and I am from Springdale, Arkansas, which is right next door to Fayetteville. So if you guys have any questions today, please comment them throughout the video and we will be sure to answer those for you guys. Mm -hmm. And let us know where you're from. Yeah. We're both from Northwest Arkansas, so we like seeing where people are coming yeah. from. Yeah. <laughs> um, before we go in, I'm just gonna show you what's surrounding us. So right under that awning over there, you can see it from here. Um, there's something called Club Red, which is just like a little convenience store. There's snacks and coffee and drinks and a bunch of good stuff in there. I lived in Reed, which is actually right over there. And so on my way to class, I would stop there and get snacks all the time. And then right down this hallway is the Fulbright Dining Hall, which is your closest dining hall. So you'll probably be going there a lot. Um, and then if you can see over here in the bottom of this building, there's a little restaurant and um, your meal tray there at night so you can just go and use one of your swipes and they'll have like chicken nuggets and just all the good stuff there I went there a ton so that's really nice mm -hmm. and then there's this giant field that's used for all sorts of things um, people are always playing frisbee or catch or football and then sometimes there's even events like they'll get a big blow-up TV and they'll have movie nights out here so it's a lot of stuff going on in this really nice. Looks like Carol says hello. Hello yeah. Carol. Yeah. Hello. Thanks for watching. Yeah, we want to know where you guys are from. Is this a tour maybe right in front of us? I think this may be a tour. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go ahead and head inside. space right here. Yeah, this is yeah, really nice. It's a, a nice like living area whenever you want to get out of your room and just hang out. Fireplace. Um, yeah, there. cozy little fireplace. Yeah, I really like this room. It's really cozy. Mm -hmm. yeah. It'd be a good place to make friends. Common areas are really good for that. You'll run into people. But and these are pretty big, uh, pretty big neighborhood. I think about what, 900 oh, students all together? Yeah. Quite a few. <laughs> So we're lucky enough to have CREs with us today. Do you guys want to introduce yourselves? Hi everyone, my name is Laura Kilpatrick. I'm the CRE or Hall Director of Maple Hill West. I'm Lene patterson Newcomb. I'm our third for South is currently out, but that is Jake Talley. Yeah, do you want to kind of tell them what, what you guys do around here? Yeah, definitely. So a Hall Director is basically a live-in professional. Um, we have master's degrees. Um, we're here to serve you as our residents. We also oversee the RAs, and we actually live on campus as well. So our experience is kind of similar to yours in that we go to programs, um, we interact with faculty, and we also work within the housing office to make sure that um, the halls are safe and that you enjoy our events. So they're gonna be going on tour with us today, so if you have any questions, mm -hmm. got them got people that know it all. <laughs> we got the front desk right here. Um, how does mail work in Maple Hill South? Um, we've got uh, different mailboxes that are out here. Mm -hmm. and so you'll actually be able to come pick up some of your mail from the boxes that are here in the lobby. And if you have a package, you should receive an email that says that you have a package to come pick up. You can come to the front desk here if you have like a large package that needs to be picked up. And we do have limited hours when you can pick up that package. So when you move in, just ask your RA for more information. Thanks. Awesome. 
Hey, hey, good to see you there. <laughs> now they may see you. Uh, what, what's your name? Jahan. Yeah, so you may meet Jahan when you come down to Maple Hill South. Awesome. I'll be happy to help you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Nick said Thank he was you. an RA here and he loved it. Ooh. So that's awesome. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, I'm glad you're watching. Yeah. We're going to show off some of the outside spaces before we go. There's a lot of places to hang out out here. Yeah, this is a really big neighborhood. There's a ton of green space here, which is really nice, especially if you're maybe from what, in Central Texas or some place like that. Yeah. A lot of green. There's a lot of people from Texas. Oh, yeah. And so now we're coming up to east and west. West would be on your left and east is on your right. programming. We do a yoga class out here several times a semester. It's just a great space to like throw a ball around or if you want to sit out in the sunshine and get your vitamin D for the day. It's just a great <laughs> spot for that. Yeah, so like we have those spots where our students will come out and set up hammocks and just kind of relax and lounge around. The hammock. Yeah, there's always hammocks. Yes. Big part of college. <laughs> yeah, this is where you can fun. find all of our residents like on a nice fall day. Um, or right before a football game, they like to chill out down here because we're just a couple minutes walk from the stadium, which is a yeah, great feature. Really true. Nice. We have what 62 people watching, yeah. so yeah, awesome. just let us know where you're from. We love cool. to know that. Yes. That's yeah. yeah. Perfect. I like the red brick architecture oh, yeah, quite I a bit. It. It's a very classic university. Show the fob, yeah. our fob system. It's all behind the desk, and that's also where you'll pick up your packages as well. And then there's another room. And that's our sunroom. Sunroom. Like spot to study. Yeah, I like this room. It's a nice little corner to hang out in. Cozy. Very cozy. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of just open. Now you lived in Reed, right? I did, yes. Did you ever come here? I did. I came here a lot to study with friends. Um, they have whiteboards in the study rooms, which are super nice, especially mm. like, like I, I remember when I was in anatomy, we would always use the whiteboards in here to study. So. We just walked by a uh, water um, facility where you can bring your own bottle. And a lot of people do, in fact, do that, is bring their own water bottle. Yes, and then the oh, vending machine. Yeah. So there are vending machines and nice machines down here. Which is, I know I know. Carol asked if we're currently in East or West. We're currently in East. East, Maple Hill East. So even if you're in West, you'll pick up your mail in East. Um, and some of the study notes and spaces, like common spaces, are available. Cool. We've got the question before about fobs. Do you know, are you fobbed by building or when you're with maples, you can kind of 
move throughout the building. Yes. To my knowledge, um, if you're a West resident, you can fob into this space. Okay. So this isn't actually residential. It's not residential until you fob in again to go upstairs. So the West residents don't have access to the East residents, to, sure. to my knowledge. Sure. But this common area, you would have um, access to that so that you can get your mail and enjoy some of the classrooms and common areas. Yeah, some of the university perspectives are held here. Mm -hmm. um, so you might have a foundation level course. Um, I'm trying to think what other classes have been held here. I think some agriculture classes. My notes are done. No, it's all good. Education <laughs> perspectives <laughs> classes are usually yeah. there. But don't be surprised if you might, you know, you might have a class yeah. in Maple Hill East. How lucky would that be if you yeah. would have a class? I know. Just, yeah, yes. just walk right downstairs. <laughs> Um, we're getting some questions about room measurements. Okay. We are going to go up to a room, a couple of rooms, later on in the tour. So if you have questions, um, when we get to the room, that would be a great time to ask them. Yeah, that's our next stop. You're a Thank you. Thank you. So now we're in the residential area. Yeah. Yes, and we're going to go up to the fourth floor. I think we're going to look at this study area here first. Yeah, there's one of these on each floor. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Um, they're all kind of the same, I guess, aren't they? Yeah. Our first floor Very is the similar. only one that's different because okay. it has an actual stove top. So the other floors won't have the stove, but you can't come down to the first floor and cook on the first floor. Oh. Yeah. And do you find that people do come in and do some cooking? Yes, actually, we do have students that occasionally come in and like will cook their own meal, or occasionally they really want to cook cookies. Mm -hmm. so that's always a blast to watch students come in and make their own cookies and stuff. And occasionally we do have programs that come in here that will do like a Midnight breakfast. Yeah, that was like a fun like finals event, but we also did a cooking and chocolate class. So we did chocolate tasting and they got to make their own pasta dish, which was really cool. <laughs> some of the students had never um, cooked before. So we do offer some of those cooking classes. Get some of those adulting skills. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. It's important. Awesome. Can you get cooking supplies at the front desk too? Yes, um, we've got some cooking sheets, some baking pans and stuff. Junior this year, is that right? I am, which is weird because I feel like I just lived in Reed. I feel like I just started. It goes by unbelievably fast. <laughs> yes. It's really sad. And you're graduating. Yes, it'll be my last year next year. Time flies. <laughs> so <laughs> enjoy it for sure. Do you know so. what's next for you? TBD? No, I love Whole City. TBD. <laughs> identical in Maple East and West um, and there's also a lounge like this in South on each floor um, so what you see here is literally um, mirrored in Maple West do you do a lot of uh, floor level programming or is it mostly building level um, so our floors we like to have a like very fun friendly community so we'll do like little cookie nights, things like that. We'll watch movies. Um, but as far as like our educational programming or like social programming, we tend to do all maples. So all three of the buildings will get together, we'll do a cookout, or for each specific building, we'll all do something together. So like Maple West, we did a sushi night a couple months ago and we all made sushi and talked to the Japanese Student Association. So we do a lot of things like that. That's fun. Yeah. So let's go uh, check out laundry, I think, and then there's a study space on every floor? Yes, several. Okay. And then there's laundry on every floor, too, correct? Yeah, I think so. Yes. That's really cool. I don't know that we have that in many buildings. Yeah. Usually you're either going up the stairs or down the stairs. 
And I believe it's right here on the left. Mm -hmm. Yep, and there are two per floor. So that's good to keep in mind. Is it countertop we use? We have an app called Laundry Alert, so you can see the numbers and like um, the scanning stuff on every machine so that you don't have to come check and make sure that something's available. You can just check the app. And then when you are using it, you can scan the machine and put the number you're using and you'll get a notification when your stuff's done. So you don't have to sit in your room and wait on it. Yes, yeah, super convenient. Yes, very nice. And it's nice that there's so many laundry rooms. Good whiteboard. Yeah, aren't these used for like reminders? Do the RAs write stuff on these? They write all kinds of stuff. So my RAs like to write like little reminders of like things that are coming up, um, and then sometimes like encouraging words. Or if we have a program coming up or an event coming up soon, we'll they'll usually use that as advertising. Nice. These are open 24 hours. So you can study in here. There's a big whiteboard on the wall. So um, you can study here? All the time. Really? <laughs> yes. Well, residents have to bring their own expo markers for the whiteboards, or can, are those We provided? have some for checkout, but we would recommend just picking up a couple. That way you always have some and you're not waiting um, for someone else to done first. Yeah. There are four of these study rooms on each floor in East and West. Um, we have one that's like this, which is perfect for group projects, so it's like a conference style. And then the other one, which you'll see in a second, is more of like a lounge, so like the one we just saw. Yeah, we're going to check out the lounge too. Yeah, these, these are definitely in use a lot, especially finals week. Finals week study rooms are crazy everywhere. Yes. Really? <laughs> yes. So like you'll come in here and people will already be, already be here? Yeah. Or? What's the etiquette around that? Really? It's just first come, first, first serve. serve. First come, first serve. Yeah, okay. we're starting to study the earliest when. But this one's more like a living room. And did you say there's four on every floor? So four of these smaller ones and then one main lounge. Right. And the lounges um, on the first floor have an oven. Um, so you can make those cookies and then on the other floors we have like a microwave oven so if you wanted to like pop in i don't know like a lean cuisine or a <laughs> or something yeah i like i always like having the option of being able to cook because it just makes it feel like more at home home yeah yeah and actually if you don't want to bring a microwave and a fridge we do offer them uh, so it's through like a third party but you can uh basically go ahead and reserve that and then it'll be ready to go in your room. That's always a feature we like to tell our residents about. You just don't want to have to move that in. You can go to movein.uart.edu and there's information about how you can rent, I believe a refrigerator or a microwave and maybe some other things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like a whole unit, so it's awesome. Yeah, so let's go check out 416. 416. Which in, in this case is a loft style. It has that area up above. But the first floor that you're going to see is very typical of Maple Hill uh, residences. Yeah. I love these. Do you want to head upstairs first? Yeah, sure. The lofts are really cool. systems up here or the entertainment console. Yeah. Um, we bring TVs with the, the cable set up. So. And this wouldn't be the typical um, style we have. Typically it's just the first floor, but we did want to make sure people who had the loft knew what it looked like. 
Chase wants to know if you have to use this furniture that comes with it. So you don't have to use the furniture, but it has to remain in the room. That is right. to say, we would expect it to, like if we, when, you, when you check in, it's there. When you check out, it's there. Yeah. We can bring your own furniture as well. Because <laughs> you will be charged if it's not. Yeah, we're going to show this one. Oh, perfect. So now we're going to one of the resident rooms. So all of the rooms do come with this setup. So you do have a bed that is loftable, which means that you can um, remove this and move it up. If you'd like to move the desk underneath or like you bring a futon or something, you want some extra room to work with. Um, you also have a desk, which comes with drawers, and then a, a chair, which is actually more comfortable than it looks. It's very comfortable. <laughs> um, and then you also have a wardrobe. So sorry, I'll take a little tango with you. <laughs> and you have another set of drawers here, as well as a drawer on the bottom, um, and then you have room for all of your uh, clothing items. Want to show them the chair trick? The chair trick? Yeah, have you ever seen it? No, I haven't. You want to show me? It's kind of like a gaming chair. Oh, sorry. Yeah. So there's just a little thing in the back, and then... Wow, I know, that's like, crazy. I didn't know that. Yeah. It's like a little... See, <laughs> almost on the table with it. Yeah, you got your little And they have a little ottoman thing. You put your feet up or something. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. kind of funny. Isn't that funny? I mean, a lot of people, like, I didn't even How know. How should we figure that out? Or a while. <laughs> I don't really remember. <laughs> One day. That's too funny. Yeah. So, sweet. you always have that option. <laughs> also, this um, laptop here is like a cork board, so you can, like, pin up photos and stuff. It's kind of cool. A lot of students don't know about that, so. Little oh, yeah, known fact. Kind of funny decorate. <laughs> Uh, we have a measurement question. Um, can we get the width of the headboard? And Nicole wants to know if you loft your bed high enough to put your desk under, is there room for a headboard? Above it? Should be. Unless Should it's be. a really tall headboard. Because yeah. if you were to put it up, it would be about like, probably about right here would be yeah. as high as you want it to be safely. Um, From top of the headboard, or top of this to the ceiling, it's three feet. Three feet. Because you've yes. loft it somewhat underneath. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, probably right here is where you want to be. Um, and then we do have a stabilizer bar as well, just so that it's safe. And then when you do arrive, you will need to loft it yourself, but we do have RAs that can assist. Um, and we have mallets, and all you do is you just pop it off, and you can stick it on top. So Awesome. Um, Jennifer wants to know the measurements of the cork board behind the desk. Yeah. I'm doing the technician, you got it? And Kelly wants to know, are there lights on the desks under the shelf? Yes. Looks like it. Mm -hmm. There should be a little twist light. I'm not sure if it's plugged in right now. Oh, yeah. But um, there is one. Yes, there is one. Yep, it's right under. And if for any reason that's not working, then you can go to housing.uark.edu forward slash fix it. And they, you can turn in a request there, and they will come in and fix it for you, no cost. Yeah, so if the light goes out or anything like that, you just go to that website, and then they'll come fix it for you. Alina wants to know the measurement from the top of the window to the floor. I don't know if you can reach that. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah. Probably with an actual analog tape measure. Yeah. Let's see if we can't get it that way. Because I can get to, I can get easily from here. I have to do a little bit of math. Let's see, that is approximately eight. <laughs> approximately 37 inches to right here. And yeah. then can you give me the measurement 
Can you give me the measurement from the top of that to the floor? Will I have 37 oh, yes. inches? Four feet nine inches plus, plus 37, 37 <laughs> We are not math people, <laughs> but there you go. Um, Lauren wants to know the measurement between the two beds. Okay. And it will vary between room. Okay. Um, so if you have a two person suite, which means you walk in and it's one room with two beds, that will be different than this. Okay. Um, just so that you're aware. A little disclaimer. Yeah. So like this, there's four feet eight inches between the two beds. This all this furniture is movable, so really yes. you can put in whatever configuration you want. Yeah. Yes. I've seen these a lot of different ways, so you can always move stuff around. Mm -hmm. People get very creative, um, but again, the furniture does need to remain in the room throughout the year. So when you check in, it's expected that it's here, and when you check out, same thing, it's expected that it's here. Awesome. Um, we had a request for the measurement between the mattress and the bedpost. So, is there any? Mattress and bedpost. Oh, yeah. Headboard. Yeah, they're asking for a headboard. Um, okay. Between the mattress and the bedpost. Yeah. Probably not that much. It's going to be very small. Yeah, so the bed will push a little bit one way or the other. Probably a matter of an inch, maybe. Yeah, it's about an inch. Or an two. inch. Could you get but into the wall to the to the headboard too? That might be helpful. Um, it looks like they're trying to build something. Little. I mean, from the back of it to the wall, there's about five inches. But a lot of people will just sit headboards in here, and I know mine is probably about an inch or two thick, and I can fit between mm -hmm. the mattress and that. So. Um, Sherry wants to know if the rooms come with cable, TV, and Ethernet. Yes, they so do. So they definitely come with cable and HBO. You get yeah. That. yeah. Um, uh, wi Fi, absolutely. Yes. Depends on the Wi Fi. Uh, we have a service called ResNet that makes sure that happens. Ethernet may or may not be in your room. Um, we've been in a transitional period with that, but you have reliable Wi Fi. Okay. Yes. Wi Fi is awesome. Kendall wants to know can you remove the black bar on the side of the bed? The stabilizer bar? I, I personally don't know offhand if it's low enough if you can or not. Do you happen to know offhand? If not, we can come back in and answer that question. Can, does the stabilizer bar need to remain there at all times? Um, it's good that it remains there because it basically keeps the uh, two sides of the bed from like collapsing in on you. So I would recommend that you keep it up there. Um, and we do inspections every so often just to make sure that it is still present. Um, if it does go missing, then you would get charged for it. So I would recommend just keeping it up there for safety purposes. And if you loft your bed, you'll just move it down a bit. Awesome. Um, Elaine wants to know if uh, they can take the headboard slats off. They are not removable. No. They are built into the wood. Yes. And that's what keeps the bed up. It's the part of the bed. Yeah, but people do decorate them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Definitely, yeah. Decorate it or um, put a headboard in front of it, whatever you'd like to do. White Christmas lights are a thing, right? Uh, definitely Christmas <laughs> lights. Okay, really? Yes. There's a lot of options. I've seen some very cute rooms. So. Stacy wants to know if there's a rod above the window. There is. So there is one so up there. There is not. Okay. Um, oh. This was probably a modification from a student last year. So we okay. are still going through the rooms and making sure they're good to go for all of you. Um, so typically there's not a curtain rod, but if you want to add one with a command strip, that's totally fine. Just be very careful of the paint. Mm -hmm. And then tension rods are commonly used. I don't think that one would accommodate a tension rod too well. There is a little panel on top, but mm -hmm. if you, I mean, maybe. Um, oh, probably not though. <laughs> but then you lived in Reed where we have those slats as well. The, sorry, the blinds, correct? Yes. And did you have any issues with sleeping and sunlight coming in? I really didn't. And my bed was right next to the window. And we never got curtains. We just used the blind. And it's fine. So, not a necessity. Julie wants to know the measurement from the desktop to the bottom of the overhang shelf. So maybe like, oh, yeah. Here. There's a lip here that's probably four or five inches. 
And Meredith, we are in a four-person suite right now with a loft. So behind this little lift, it's one foot and ten inches. But if I go to it, it's one foot seven inches. One foot seven inches. Got it. From here to here. Including the middle. Yes. Okay. Um, we had a couple questions about the bathroom. Can we go in there really quick? Sometimes those two-person suites, they have a little bit more room, but you do have a nice, spacious walk-in shower right here. It does have a built-in um, shelf. Yeah, that's I nice. would recommend you get a shower caddy, though, because you will be sharing it with several other people. So it's just right. good to have. And it does come with a shower curtain as well. Um, so just make sure at the end of the year, it stays here as well. Yeah. And then here is the toilet. And then there are some towel racks over here as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. One for each person. So that's nice. Mm -hmm. And you have room for a little shelf right here, or um, if you wanted to put something on this side right by the toilet for towels or any other little uh, necessities, you have room for that. This is a very typical bathroom, right? Yes, Almost all I would say rooms. about, yeah, about more than half mm -hmm. have this uh, style. Typically when you have a two-person suite, you have a little bit more room to work with, but there's not a lot of variation between them. And on the second, I guess on the first floor we have our showroom, do you know if we have any two-person suites on this floor? The showroom should be a two-person okay. suite. Do you yeah. know if we have any on here on floor four? Um, yes, definitely. Okay. Yeah. We'll dip into one real quick. Yeah, we yeah definitely. I can show you one. That'd be good. Thank you so much. Um, Sherry wants to know who cleans the bathroom. You. <laughs> the students' responsibility. Yep. <laughs> yep. Which is good because it's a great way to become independent, learn about, you know, what it means to live in an apartment if you decide to do that, um, you know, after college or as a sophomore. Um, so yeah, you will be expected to keep this space clean. And that is a challenge for some of our residents, but our RAs are here to help you. We also have cleaning supplies at the front desk that you can use. Awesome. Um, we had a question about the measurement in this space right here. Okay, sure. Um, All right. Let's scoot back here. Digital or analog? I think they want to know this little cubby back here um, for shelving, oh, like, right here. like maybe like this width, so maybe like oh, right from here. you to the, yeah. I yeah, that would be perfect. That's two feet, seven inches. And then if I go from the end of the wall that's about two feet deep. Two feet deep, right okay. Awesome. Um, Hope wants to know if you change out the shower curtain, is it a special size? Um, any standard yeah, shower it looks, curtain should fit. Mm -hmm. It you looks standard. You may have a little extra room if you get like a larger one, but it shouldn't be a problem. Yeah. If you do decide to use your own, just make sure to hold this and put it somewhere so that you can put it back up at the end of the year. That way you don't get charged for the shower curtain. Good idea. It's a great question. Thank you for all the good questions. Yeah. I think we're caught up. Okay. Want me to go look at that two person? Suite? Yeah, definitely. And if for some okay. reason um, we didn't get to your question, we will be um, going back after the video and answering the questions that we didn't get to. Yeah. Yep. 
I love these little corner rooms. They're really nice. Mm -hmm. you have two windows. Yeah, good light in here. Yeah, and again, like I said, you have a little more room in the two-person suite that you don't have in the four-person. Um, Chase wants to know, what about the Maple South rooms? Will they be the same? Yes, they're the same as well. Sorry, I forgot to add that. Yeah, <laughs> all the Maples are designed to be identical. Now, some of the layouts um, of the floor is a little bit different. So in South, you have a long hall and then short halls on the end, whereas in uh, East and West, you have like, it's like perfectly like three prongs, if that makes sense. So the hallways are a little bit different, but the rooms are identical. Okay. Well, Melissa wants to know if we can measure um, the distance between these two beds and here. Yes. Cool. There you go, you got it. It's six feet and four inches between these two beds. Nice. Any other measurements? Not right now. Well, wow. let us know, yeah. You can always go back and comment, like we said, and, and we'll be sure to go through them and get those and get an answer for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it takes us a little time because we're going through all the questions from the beginning of the You Are Home Live series, yeah. but eventually we will get here and we'll go back and answer those questions, even if we've answered them uh, by voice. Yes, we will. Is there anything you want to tell the um, upcoming students? Um, bring less than you think you need, <laughs> because sometimes uh, we do see students that get in and they're like, I don't have room for anything, so I would just say just bring less than you think that you need, and if you want to decorate or bring more things, you can always run home and get stuff um, on the next time you go home, like if you go home on the weekend, or we have lots of great furniture stores, we have TJ Maxx, things like that, so if you want to buy a little something for your room, that's Fable, Fable Funky. Yeah. Sure, yeah, we lots of thrift stores. <laughs> we do, lots of thrift stores. Yeah. Um, I just want to say, like, get excited and get, I'm kind of doing the right word, but get pumped for mm -hmm. yeah. going to school. And, yeah. Uh, get excited to learn more about your roommate and campus and everything else that comes with living on campus. Mm -hmm. yeah. And have an open mind and be willing to meet people. A week is going to be amazing. So definitely, like, don't miss out on the events. Go to as many events as you can. Get to know your RA, that's gonna help you as a student and you're gonna feel like you're really home while you're here. Yeah, don't be afraid to go to your RA. If you have any questions, that's mm -hmm. what they're here for. Yeah. They're here to help you and make you feel welcome here. Yeah. Yeah. Make lots of friends. It goes by really fast. It does. <laughs> yes. You know, freshman year so much. And yeah, it just it's a, it's like a blink of a You know better than Oh I'm yeah. Like, do you feel like you just started? Before? Yes. Started. It's crazy, but I'm glad that I can show you guys around. Um, thank you for tuning in, and be sure to check our website for our schedule for the other tours we're going to be giving. But yeah, thank you.